Let's go to question number one. Plant and animal cells. Complete the table. Put a tick on the structure present on each cell. The first one has been done for you. Nucleus present in plant cell and present in animal cell. Cell what? Present only in plant cell but not present in animal cell. Cytoplasm present in plant cell, present in animal cell. Cell membrane present in plant cell, present in animal cell. Vacuum present in plant cell. Let's label this plant cell. Cytoplasm, chloroplast, cell wall, nucleus. Part of the plant, the later and then the function. We have uh, chloroplast produce chlorophyll to make for to help photosynthesis to take place. Uh, we have uh, the cell wall provide rigidity, help the plant cell to be rigid. Then we have the nucleus, which contain the genetic material. Question 2. Draw a line to match the air structure to its description. So we have the three parts of the air structure, the core, the crus, and the mantle. So we have the center of the earth, which is the core. Then you have the earth cross with the outer part of the earth, on which we do a lot of human activity. Then you have the mantle, which is between the core and the outer part. Then the earth is made up of three different rocks. The first one type is sedimentary rock. Write the name of the other one. So you have... Uh, Ignos rock and sediment and metamorphic rock. Sedimentary rock contains the remain of dead animals and plants. What is the name of the remain found in plant? Crystal no, fossil yes, mineral no, rock no. So the answer is fossil. Here are six objects, each of them transfer energy in useful form the first one is lamp so light energy electric kettle thermal energy cooking gas thermal energy bell sound energy radio sound energy bicycle kinetic energy may i connect an electric circuit what type of electric circuit has me made this is a parallel circuit There are five different components in the circuit with letter A. That, the part labeled A is referring to ammeter. Ammeter is used to measure current flowing in a circuit. Voltmeter is used to measure the PD in an electric circuit. Here is the picture of an ammeter. What is the value, the reading? So 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's going to be 7 and a half ampere. Predict the reading of the meter, the ammeter on this end. Both of them are connected to the battery. So the same wire. So it's going to the same wire carry the same current. So the it's going to be 7.5 amperes. Okay. Question 5. The diagram show the human circulatory system. The four organs are A, B, C, D. So first of all, let's label those organs. Uh, we have the lungs. We have the liver. We have the small intestine. Then we have the kidney. Some substances leave the blood and other substances enter the blood when it travels through an organ. Complete the table writing the letter of the organ in the correct buses. Concentration of material increases where? You see. Concentration of carbon dioxide and 
concentration of oxygen increases where you have in the lungs respiratory organ so question six a group of students investigate photosynthesis using pound, uh, pond wind the diagram shows the equipment you use you have your your light source thermometer measuring cylinder funnel the light wind and then you have water and then you collect the bubble of oxygen produced in the measuring cylinder there okay write down the word equation for photosynthesis carbon dioxide will react with water to produce glucose and oxygen so that is the word problem so that is the writing it in chemical symbol co2 is carbon dioxide h2o is water glucose c6 h12 o6 and then oxygen is o2 the diagram shows the volume of gas collected after five minutes write down the volume so from that measurement that is 3 cm cube the student want to increase the volume of gas the pond will make in five minutes the student use a drinking straw to bubble some of their bread into the water the volume of the gas the pond will make increases explain why more carbon dioxide available for plants and bread carbon contain uh, carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is needed for the process of photosynthesis for photosynthesis to take place carbon dioxide is combined with water suggest and explain one other way the student could increase the volume of carbon dioxide this pond would make in five minutes one make the lamp closer so that means use more lamp or use brighter lamp because this provide more light or increase the light intensity question seven yourself investigate what happened when iron is added to different solution he put four different metals salt into four beakers as shown below put iron in copper sulfate iron in potassium nitrate solution iron in lead nitrate and iron in silver nitrate okay so if you look at that that is actually an equation that demonstrates reactive activity series of meta and the activity series you have potassium so potassium is the most reactive and the least reactive is platinum okay and according to the principle the metal at the top can displace those below so potassium can displace iron iron can displace tin tin can displace lead lead can displace silver copper can displace silver so the metal at the top displaces those metal at the bottom so let's look at uh, this uh, reaction that Yosef carried out iron in copper so iron was the position of iron and then copper below so there will be a reaction so iron displaced copper then let's look at the second one iron in potassium never <laughs> iron is below potassium so it cannot there is no reaction iron cannot displace potassium then the third one iron in lead iron displace lead okay then the last one iron and silver nitrate yes iron is above silver nitrate so iron can displace silver from silver nitrate so those are the result is going to get so let's go to the question 
After Termini, Yosef recalled the following observation. Copper surface solution. Iron covered with pink solid. So what is that? Okay. Iron has displaced copper. Which variable does Yosef change in the investigation? Type of salt solution. He used copper sulfate, potassium sulfate, nitrate, lead nitrate, and silver nitrate. Write down one variable Yosef need to control. Okay. The volume of the solution. You must put equal volume of the solution in the beaker. The size of the nail is going to use. You must use the same size of nail. The type of nail is going to use. You use iron, so you keep it constant. Time the nail is left in the beaker. In the solution for reaction to take place, you must keep the time like five minutes or ten minutes. The temperature of the solution must remain constant. Concentration of the solution must be kept constant. Yosef set up another beaker. This time he put the nail in sodium chloride solution. There is no reaction. Explain why. Nail in sodium chloride solution. If you look at our activity series, so you have two metals, you have sodium and and iron. So sodium is higher than iron. Sodium is more reactive metal, iron is a less reactive metal. So, there is no reaction. Explain why. The reason is what? Sodium is higher than iron or sodium is more reactive metal than iron or sodium is higher up in the activity series. Or you can say iron is lower in the activity series. And lower metal in the activity series cannot displace metals higher in the activity series. Question 8. Carlos learned about the law of reflection in a lesson. He draw the diagram. So we have this mirror. We have the normal. Then, so we have the incident ray. And then you have the reflected ray. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is the angle of incident. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is the angle of reflection. The law of reflection is that well, the angle of incident must be equal to the angle of reflection. This question is about the three states of matter. Question 9. Which state of matter have the strongest force between its particles? Solid state. Draw a line. To match the state of matter with the description of the spacing of the particle. Now, solid state, closely packed. Liquid state, closely packed but not in pattern. Gas, spread far apart. Yosef put a small amount of water in his flat dish. He then leave the dish outside in the warm sunshine. After a while, the water disappears. Explain what happened to the particle. Water evaporated. Water changes to gas. Particles of water gain energy. Some particles have more kinetic energy and move faster. Particles have overcome the attraction between them or broke the force between the particles in the liquid. Particles have spread further apart in the gas state. Question 10. Look at the diagram. 
it shows some of the elements in the periodic table. Use this periodic table to answer the question. Write down the chemical symbol of the most reactive element in group 1. The group 1, so we have group 1 here, lithium, sodium, potassium, and then activity series increases down the group. So potassium is the most reactive element in group 1. Uh, let's see. Question B. An atom of an element has only one proton inside its nucleus. Write down the chemical symbol of this element. That is hydrogen. Write down the chemical symbol of the element in group 7 and period 3. Group 7, period 3. So group 7 is this group here. Okay. That is chlorine. Write down the name of the element in the same group as boron. Boron, this is boron here. Yeah? The same group that is this, that will be aluminium. Aluminium. Question 11. Prayer and Lily investigate friction. Here is the equipment they use. You have your force meter, you have the material, then you have a wooden block, then masses placed on top of the wooden block. He pulled the wooden block with a force meter. They repeat the investigation using different material. Peria say, we must be careful about, we must be careful because we are using heavy masses. Lily say, we must make this investigation safe. Describe two things they can do to reduce the risk of hurting themselves. The masses are heavy, so if you fall on their leg, <laughs> they are going to hurt their leg. Okay? And then, so they must make the reaction firm so that it doesn't drop on their leg. Eye protection. Wear safety glasses to protect their eyes. If then we use small masses or lighter masses so that in case it fall on their leg, the force, the weight will be reduced. Leg protection. Stand away from the table or stand far away from the masses so in case it drop, it won't fall on your leg. Do the experiment on the floor or wear sturdy shoes so that if the mass fall on it, it won't have impact on your foot. Prevent the setup from falling. So attach the masses to the wooden block. Make it heavier, uh, firm. Make sure the force meter is firmly attached. Here are their results. Complete the table. Material A, B, C, and D. Then the forces based on the reading. Describe how they can make the result more reliable. Repeat the measurement. Don't carry out once. Take more measurements. Double check the results. Use a wider range of masses. Use different masses for your experiment. That brings us to the end of this paper. So watch out for paper two.